I hear them telling you to shut up, that you're going to be embarrassed, and I even hear them flat out saying, I'm telling you what to do as a pastor. Give me a chance and I'll give you what does the Bible say. Always ask for what does the Bible say. Get it right here on Star News. New time, Thursday nights at 9 o'clock. The views expressed on this program do not necessarily reflect the views of the station, its employees, or ownership. Now, Are you going to church only to find a club? Are you tired of looking for the Bible but only getting babble? If you want to find people who are studying God's Word, come examine the Church of Christ. We're meeting right here at 250 the Boulevard in downtown Eden. If you want to hear more plain Bible teaching, watch A Word from the Lord Thursday nights at 9 o'clock right here on WGSR. I couldn't stand Johnny at first. I thought he was a nut. And once I read the Bible for myself, I'm able to accept the truth now. All right. And it doesn't make me angry. I'm talking about the Lauren Hardy show on Wednesday. Don't worry about them. Some of y'all, get off of it, would you? Don't dare do that again. Shut that up. Shut that up. Shut that up. As your pastor, I am telling you, please, don't waste your time on Wednesday nights watching this television program. If you're looking for Laurel and Hardy, I left my derby and I left my cane, but I did bring my Bible. If you'll read along with me, you'll find that the persons who are making the accusations, they're really the ones who have a problem. I hear them telling you to shut up, that you're going to be embarrassed, and I even hear them flat out saying, I'm telling you what to do as a pastor. Give me a chance and I'll give you what does the Bible say. Always ask for what does the Bible say. Get it right here on Star News. New time, Thursday nights at 9 o'clock. Are you going to church only to find a club? Are you tired of looking for the Bible but only getting babble? If you want to find people who are studying God's Word, come examine the Church of Christ. We're meeting right here at 250 the Boulevard in downtown Eden. If you want to hear more plain Bible teaching, watch A Word from the Lord Thursday nights at 9 o'clock right here on WGSR. The views expressed on this program do not necessarily reflect the views of the station, its employees, or ownership. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to A Word from the Lord. Jim's over here with you, and we're glad that you're with us. Thank you for watching What Does the Bible Say and A Word from the Lord. We appreciate all you who are watching, especially up in Michigan, where we are uh, broadcasting on Thursday nights from 8 to 10. And uh, we appreciate you watching. And when the phone numbers come up, if you want to call in, we'll be glad to take your calls on the air. Or there will be a local number uh, for you folks in Michigan. And you can uh, uh, call at that number and reach someone that's closer to you. So either way, we're glad that you're with us, glad you're watching. And we appreciate you uh, 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 staying tuned and studying God's Word with us. This is brought to you by the Church of Christ. We meet at 250 Boulevard in Eden. Uh, they're in Eden, North Carolina. Uh, you can reach me at 276-340-2653 or 336-394-5721. <clears throat> a word from the Lord at gmail.com is my email address. A word from the Lord at gmail.com. Of course, uh, you just saw Mark, Mark McMinnis, uh, minister for the church in Danville. Uh, the Lord's people in Danville meet at 120 American Legion. They're in Danville. And there's Mark's phone number, 434-770-8412. One, two, our brother Eugene Edwards, you can reach him at 23 Starling Avenue in Martinsville. Brother Johnny Robertson is there also. I don't have his phone number back up, but nonetheless, we are uh, always glad for those who are in the audience and in, in the community to come visit with us anytime you have a chance to do so. Religious View coming up tonight uh, after the news uh, at 1030, and so we appreciate you staying tuned for that. I know that gets kind of late for some of you, but there's folks out in, in uh, Texas and uh, uh, other parts, Oklahoma and places like that that are watching that are on Central Time Zone, and so they're actually uh, uh, an hour behind us, so they get it. They're uh, uh, not up quite so late, but nonetheless, we appreciate all you watching and all the comments that we get, the phone calls, the emails, and so forth. We appreciate you watching and uh, letting us know that you are indeed uh, 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 tuning into the broadcast. You know, Jesus said some things that uh, we need to really be. Uh, careful about. In other words, he gives us some caution words. In Luke 10, verse 26, for example, Jesus said unto him, What is written in the law? How readest thou? 
Now, friends, what we need to be concerned about is how do we read? Because there's one thing to read the Bible and another thing to be careful about how we're reading it. Some people read it just, to, just for the sake of reading it, like it's a, a novel or something. But you really need to be reading the Bible in order to get God's information out of it. So take heed how you read or how readest thou. Notice this. In Matthew chapter 12 and verse 5, let me get my, my Bible program up here with us. But in Matthew chapter 12 and verse 5, Jesus is going to give some more information about, about reading. And he's chastising his, uh, uh, his audience because they are not careful about how they read. In Matthew 12 verse 5, he said, Have ye not read in the law how then in the Sabbath days the priests in the temple profane the Sabbath and are blameless? In other words, they're working on the Sabbath, but it wasn't, it wasn't a sin. They were blameless because that was their job was to work. And so he says, but have you not read in the law? You didn't pay attention when you were reading the Bible that this was actually a, a, a time when God actually required people to be working on the Sabbath day. And so there is there that, that exception to the rule in, in the sense of God says this is, you can work on the Sabbath day in this regard. Some people can, but you wouldn't know that because you didn't read properly. How have you read? In another place is Mark chapter 12 and verse 26. Listen to what Jesus says. Mark 12 verse 26. He says, as touching the dead that they rise, have ye not read in the book of Moses? How in the bush God spake unto him, saying, I am the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. In other words, they were having a question about the resurrection. And Jesus said, you should have read and you should have taken note of the fact that God said, I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Jacob. And not in the past tense, I was the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God is the God of the living. And therefore, when people die... They don't just cease to exist, but yet they are existing in another realm. And so the dead rise again. Have you not read? When you don't read, when you don't read, you miss something. So you've got to be careful. Now, the reason I say that is because I believe that we, the, the reason we are in such a big trouble in the religious world is because a lot of people have not been careful about how they read. Now, you may hear us say this from time to time uh, again and again, but it's just the case. When people, when people are not careful about how they read, they seem to overlook some things that really are pretty big. If you get right down to it, notice this. In Matthew 23 and verse uh, 23, 